Oh, I can't just start every video going, oh boy. Um, let me chug my beer real quick and then we'll get to greeting each other, all right? One moment. Ain't that the good stuff. All right. Hi. How you doing? Don't judge the games on my screen. Don't even look at my screen right now, okay? I know this isn't normally here, but I know the second I jump back into this game, because we left the last episode on a, uh, like a to be continued, that means it's gonna, like, an immediately start playing. So, that's why this is here. A uh, recap of last time, I don't know, people testified, the puppet was at the stand, you, whatever, you know? Alright, so let's get into it. Also, can I just say, after the last episode that I recorded, which was yesterday, I, like, immediately just, like, passed out way too early and just, like, slept until, like, 1 a.m., and then it fucked up my life, but we're here now, and it's all okay. Okay. Oh, God. S sweetie. You have to be I don't remember anybody's voice, you guys. You have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near the crime scene. So then where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Do you think, because in the last episode, he was like, well, be careful, it's cold out there, that the ringmaster wore Max's hat and coat to stay warm, and then, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like, convict the puppet, I don't wanna indict the puppet, but, like, do you think maybe then the puppet clonked him thinking he was Max? Who knows? Okay. Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he'll be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Off did not come out of my mouth, which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. <sighs> fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility! Heh, <sighs> well done, Nick! However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the scene of the crime was my silk hat. Uh-oh. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double him! <laughs> wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. He's a magician. Well, I never was quite sure what I'd be when I grew up magician or pre- Sir. Or president. You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, the hubbub. Oh, we're back in court. That, they give us these super short intermissions. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Miss Von Karma, please proceed with... Oh, she's going to pull out a new witness. I hope... It is the clown. Pro please proceed with the co prosecution's case. Very well, I will now call my next witness. A pit- Yeah! A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. He saw the whole thing. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? Oh, why did she just call him a pitiful clown? I mean, look at him. No, if I love him. Actually, I don't. The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Mm. Oh, boy. I've got to voice the clown, don't I? Mm. In West Clown, Philadelphia! <laughs> <laughs> name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the court why he is speaking autobiographical gibberish? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best soon into this sort of a kingdom. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of barely justice, not some... 
Are you sure? Because sometimes around here it feels like a comedy club, sir. With all due respect, since it's easy to see your occupation. <laughs> what if he wasn't a clown? You're just like, clearly you're a clown. That's so. What a drag, Judge. Please state your name for the court. Oh! Yeah! Maybe this joke is okay! Mom, do I have to wear pants? Where is this going? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service! No, 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 Mr. No Curls. But a couple of, oh. Your name. Lawrence Curls, oh. Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed the scene, you witnessed the scene at around 10.15 the day of the murder, correct? Yes, yes it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? Oh, Rabbi, a priest and a, Rastafarian walked to without humor, please. Okay. Aw. Aw! Poor Mo can't be his normal stoochy self in court. He'll be okay, Maya. What you witnessed. I know, I know, I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for t you make me laugh, but his eyes look tired. His eyes look like he hasn't seen joy in 10 years. Oh, because he hasn't made anybody laugh in 10 years. Oh, it's been a decade of hopelessness. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever jokes. Oh, God. Did you hear that messenger tone? Sorry. Oh, my God. I'm going to mute my computer. Sorry, y'all. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken laughing in since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament, I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless! But I keep trying. That's what matters. I can't even try to come up with jokes just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try and make everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone! What do you think of me? How am I doing? Uh oh. Mm -mm. Um. Aren't we supposed to be the ones asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court. <laughs> what a rude bitch! We will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. Everything's wrong. My phone's going off. My computer's going off. My watch is vibrating. Everything. Please stop. It, like, frustrates me. Am I the only person who gets, like, so angry whenever something, like, buzzes or goes off, like, more than once? And because I have, like, 18,000 devices constantly connected to everything, it's like, bing, bing, bzz, bzz, bzz. And then the people in my life do this thing where instead of typing up a message, they type up, like, 15 individual messages it's like i was thinking that send maybe we could send <laughs> i don't know send oh i have an idea stop one message i'm gonna lose my fucking mind <laughs> thus please stick to the facts of this case really you're you're really gonna you'll really hear me out well i'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later thank you thank you i can't wait i need to let it out Poor gumsh- Oh no! Now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can! I'll talk for as long as you want! Here we go again. Let's go, buddy. The night of the murder, after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was at night! I was pooped! I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. And that's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head! Sounds, sounds about like what we've been hearing. 
That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Well, it's not to be believed, Judge. Von Karma, I swear to God, one more time, I'll fucking throw you off that podium. Get down. Of course you can. There is no way that this account... Really? It's a fucking clown with depression. However, the witness is a bit... How do you say? Off kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. That must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in this. I'm going to do my best, Maya. I know that. Mr. Wright, Your Honor. I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, <laughs> it would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage. Oh, can I not press on every statement? You know I love to do that. Pointless saber rattling. What is saber rattling? I understand, Your Honor. If you cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Oh boy. So can I not press him on everything? Or is that like, is that the gag here? Deny the murder after my. Oh, I was trying to my room. I'll believe you on that. You have no idea that I was an ass poop. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They're a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster. He was with Max, who's wearing his cloak. Are you sure it was Max? That's kind of like what everything's been boiling down to. You'd say you clearly saw this, even though you were, by your own admission, far away. That's right. That's right! I had been thinking about it over and over since that night! But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von Karma. But now I am 100% certain that it was Max and the Ringmaster that I saw that night. Just think about it. How could I be wrong if Max is always wearing his uppity symbols? Everybody's so upset about his symbols. Uppity symbols? Silk hat. Cloak. Lawyers nowadays? Do you even have to go to law? Do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? Now, right, everyone knows what to do all together. Now, say it with Uncle Mo. Man, the crowd hates this man. Damn, <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> he said, <laughs> See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. My life. Yes! Enough foolishness. Get back on track. Will the witness please testify as to what he saw and only what he saw? Going through this again. Oh, wait, this is more. Are you sure about that, good sir? You say you saw the ringmaster get, quote unquote, clonked over the head? Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur. He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say that you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I... Uh, mm, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. No, no, no. Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? Objection. I will not permit you, to, permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. What? Literally what? Oh, Jesus Christ, losing the last of my health is what's waiting for me. What oh Oh, boy. Isn't this a bit melodramatic? So what will it be, then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Come on. Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? I must to have brought this up. Of course I have grounds to make this claim. Then let's hear it. 
That's something I can't share with you. Oh, am I about to lose my health? Oh, no! I've never actually died in a Phoenix Wright game. This might be a learning experience. What did you just say, Mr. Wright? I know there's something wrong with this testimony, but I can't put why I feel this way into words for the judge. Maybe we should get a bit more information. Once we find something more solid, we can give it another shot. Yeah, you're right. No! No! You know that you must be penalized. I died! That's enough! Phoenix has died! What does this mean? The court sees no reason to further prolong the Oh no! Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Bill- Oh, I forgot that was his name. Billy Bob Jones. Wilty. Yeah, I know. Just hurry up and give me the game over and then make me start over and then I'll fast forward through the video. The accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh, he looks nice from behind. Wait a minute. Go off. Maximilian, did y'all see him from behind? Well, here we are at the title screen. Now, I'm not going to bother you guys. I'm going to speed up to where we were at. And uh, we'll figure it out from there. Okay, we're back where we were. We are cross-examining the clown. And we're not gonna press him in the wrong spots. I went straight out of my room. You have no idea what that was, and I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to save him before I did. I glanced out the window. Okay. Tell me about that, question mark. You just happened to glance out of the window. You could say that. You could also say I peeked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls. Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What What should I do? I wonder if I should always, Phoenix, press him further and then get arrested by Von Karma again. Oh, keep pressing. I almost hit let it rest. Never let it rest. Exactly why did you look out of your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday. Once I tucked myself in the bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Sounds like you were already in bed at that point. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! You... you... forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? Ow, ow, ow. That's not something you just forget to mention. Um... Yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well, Mr. Curls. Please revise your testimony. This should start turning the tables in our favor. We always say that. Oh, God, I still have, like, no health. I heard a huge noise outside the window, and that's what made me look outside. I'm going to press on that. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like, hmm, I guess you could say... Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Oh, why did you ask to make a joke? Ah, bah, 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 bah. I guess that the sound sounded like a... I suppose it sounded like someone gets getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like. Honestly. Someone getting hit, huh? What then? Oh. <laughs> what then? You went and look out your window. You went to look out the window and you saw... That's when I saw two silhouettes that were a bit far away, though. Oh, that didn't take me anywhere. Oh, shit, we're back on this. Um, so let's think. They're a bit far away, though. It was a ring, it was a max, it was a max clunk. I can't walk them, and all of a sudden, max clunk. Here's the thing. Unless there was both a clonking and a bonking, you wouldn't have seen it. You said that, what'd you say? <laughs> you said that 
you heard the thump before you looked. So were there two thumps? You know, Max's testimony. Oh, I should have pressed on that. Oops. A mistake. Let's go through again. Pooped. Went to my room. Oh, I went backwards. My mistake. Far away. Cloak. Head. Oh, fuck. I did it again, you guys. Sorry. I'm trying to press on that last statement again. Even though it's going to be a risky business. Okay, I don't believe you, Mr. Clown. You said otherwise just a moment ago. You say you saw the ring master get clonked over the head. Yes, I did. That's the climax of my story. He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? We've been through this. You mean the weapon? I have no idea. Oh, weapon was invented at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say that you saw everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't the weapon. <laughs> Mo! Did you or did you not see the crime of the murder committed oh, yes. that night? I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't... I know, come on, let's go, you guys. A nice penalty. Whoop. Isn't this a bit melodramatic? So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not- Yes, I do. And this time I actually mean it. And please don't send me to jail again. I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you'll be telling us all that great reason? Of course I will. The reason is, please, the witness's very own testimony, yes. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Ready to burp? Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Hmm, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching them and all of a sudden Max clunked the ringmaster over the hand! If Mo is to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there is no way that he could have seen Max clonk anyone. In 1972, a crack clunk! Where was that going? Mr. Curls, how do you respond? What was he? What was he saying, you guys? How do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. These clowns prob <laughs> they escaped from a maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C team theme to anger this court? What is the C team? Is that the clown team? No, no, no. I was just stalling for time while I jogged my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. That's, uh, anti-woman. Well, um... Ah, you're back from your jog? Well, it pretty much happened the way I said! Pretty much? When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow! The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Fun, fun karma. Tampering with witnesses again. So now you're just like her. And dummy dad. So now you're saying that you did not see the defendant clonk the ringmaster? Yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Oh god, checked out? Yep, he had croaked. He was on permanent vacation, as they say. Ah, da, 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 da. Mr. Curls. Your Honor. You did not- oh, you did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? He- yes, exactly! The ringmaster was slumped over and I saw someone's silhouette next to him. Very well, then please testify to, to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. How are you gonna say you saw Max when there's no footprints? And if I catch even a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Where are you going to learn court etiquette in a holding cell? Got it. This poor clown is really going through it. The silhouette. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only have belonged to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk hat. That black cloak, they were all there. What about the third one? The whatever. Oh, the white roses. 
His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Hmm. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever, this should finally be good enough, yes? No, it is not. It is decisive testimony. Was Max really at the scene of the scene crime scene that night? Maya. He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. Oh, back at it with the clown. Oh, he's pissed. Look at him. Fist. At the ready. Can I press all I want or are they going to yell at me again? I'm going to press on this. Mo, tell me about that. Don't you think that you're going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That channel belonging to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performances' life, performers' life, is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max, I'm convinced of that. It doesn't seem like he's jumping to any conclusions this time. Let's go over this again then. What makes you so sure that you saw Max that night? Alright. Trilo said the same thing. But if it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself! But just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Ma Max's face looked nothing like the fat conductor, what was the fat controller's face, so there's weight there. <laughs> weight. Hmm, you sure of that? Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. He's so cat that black look, they were all there. What about the white roses? You're sure that is what you saw that night? Exactly what I said I saw is exactly what I saw. I got eyes like a honk. <laughs> um, don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all I saw. His face was similar, but there's no doubt it was him. Okay, so you saw part of a face. You were able, you were able to see that kind of detail from your window. What, Von Karma? There was a light near the scene of the crime. Anyone with decent eyesight could have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out of my left eye and an eagle out of my right eye! Our records say his eyesight is a perfect 2020. That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Hmm. The more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Hey! You asked me what my eyesight and his like, not what it actually was. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. And I got a press on that one too, don't I? So you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That? That's correct. I've been curious to see what caused that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. They claim it was a blunt object, at least it says so in the aut- They say it was a blunt object, at least it says so in the autopsy report. The trial is testimony, and now Moe's. It really seems like Max is the killer. Nick! You gotta find a contradiction in this! That's not gonna be enough. What? I have to prove that Moe saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing that will help, I've gotta do it. But with what piece of evidence? What do I have? The hat. I've got the hat. Um. Hmm. Very interesting collection of things. The fucking pepper. Like, what is this for, you guys? I don't know. The only things I know are that like he mentions two of the three items. He mentions the hat, but like we have the hat and that doesn't really do anything. 
and they but he doesn't mention as you can see the white roses over the tts so let's present oh that picture actually shows them so let's show that picture there's no doubt especially since i saw his uppity symbols his silk cat that blue. where were the roses tell me please don't yell at me judge you say you saw all of max's uppity symbols i suppose so the silk cat and the cloak right Mo, well, that's only two out of three of the symbols. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has, Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay, everyone get ready! All together now! What the? Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie. Three point one four one five nine two. Sorry, Miss Fool. You are to respond with the whole truth. No fractions. That's not a fraction. Order, order. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Oh, a karma. The crime scene was dark as I made two nights ago. Kennedy now. But the witness says he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Oh god, we're gonna go back. Then the then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. I don't like fighting with her. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Yes, sir. Clearly not. He's just toying with this court. Von Karma, I'm gonna fucking fight her. I got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to truth yet. That's very true. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you not? How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trilo saw them all. Trilo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Wow. Hmm. Now that I. Now what am I supposed to judge? You're not, can you fucking imagine being in a courtroom and the judge is like, oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, what do you guys think? I, I don't know. Like, bitch, this is your job. One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this, judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness had stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Bang! No! Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Hmm. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. Yeah, he's a little bit goofy. It seems that, unlike wine, the witness has not grown more... He's <laughs> a judge. I'm not mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99. Period. Leave it there. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. Really? However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. Oh, God, we're going to keep making this clown chatter, 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 and I'm going to have to cross-examine the clown like 50 times, and we're going to be like, oh, what? If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. Ruling? Nick, this is your last chance! Oh, another testimony. Oh my god! Okay. Let's finish this testimony and then we'll finish up this video. The Silhouette, part two. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, of all the other symbols there were, 
All of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. All right. Is that your whole statement? Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against the w Oh, no. Let me bother the clown. I get that he's, like, on the edge of a building, like, ready to jump, but please let me have my way with this clown. Don't. Nope. Nope. All right. If you're going to prove to me that there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I've only got a single show that this. I've got to be careful, so I should be using evidence instead of pressing. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. This is a silhouette, part two. Probably I'm gonna use that piece of hat, that hat that have his evidence, right? There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. Okay. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally aware of that. Okay. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. This hat? But that doesn't contradict anything he said. Let me think. Oh my god. Look, 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 look. Look! Oh, <laughs> look at him. Ah! Oh my God, I love him. Look at him. Look. Oh my. Why is ear so high up? Whatever, don't worry about it. But do I present the hat? Let's think about it, guys. Um, Nothing else makes sense. We're gonna present the hat. And if I die, I die. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor, because this was found at the scene of the crime. Hmm? I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Oh, did I press? I meant to present. Oh my fucking god! There's no way I can see the decorations on it. He was. Oh, he was wearing it. Is what I. My mistake. Cause I. My mistake. Please judge. Please don't kill me. I have like no health. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it! That's the hat he was wearing that night! No question in your mind. Exactly! How would... Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma? Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene. That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No! That's not true! Order, 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 Mr. Curls! Yes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of what is this? You, you're old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and assault my eyesight or my memory, they're both great! Seriously, why? Just because you were sitting and put me in another- And no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you! Wah! <laughs> Clown's having a breakdown. Okay, enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? I saw him, I swear I saw him, it was Max! Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb so hurt. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a... Br He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb so cat. He was there. He... Left the scene? Well, there were no fucking footprints, Maya. What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um... He... Went... What do you mean how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that! You better, better be good, Von Karma. 
Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Uh, disagree. I am pulling out the truth. This witness's testimony is so, so full of holes. Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't call, yeah, that's really, uh, fuck this judge. Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how do you leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. Oh, with his feet, you say? That's what I expected you'd say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Hmm? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the... Fuck this judge! Do you have any proof to counter his... Yes, 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 the picture of the body. There's only one set of footsteps and none of them are going backwards. And apparently that's important. Look at this picture. That's the old man. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints. In this, oh God, Phoenix over like overlaid over the picture is dramatic. In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, 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 ay. So Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he. Um, Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of his, all of the witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is a, as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Judge. Wait just a second! Uh-oh, he's gonna snap. Oh, his hat came up for a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine! Fine, I'll tell you the truth this time! Don't whip the clown. You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear! I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. <laughs> yeah, my... Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes! The testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her wit told me not to talk about what I really saw. Von Karma, you bitch. Getting in the way of justice. Order, order. I will have order. Francisca Von Karma, how could you? Oh, she is so proud of her son. Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. <laughs> That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Curls. Ha! You're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I can tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. If you wanna know the truth, next video. If you wanna hear a clown tell the truth, hold on. We'll get there. Alright, um, thanks for watching. Bye.